Yo, what's up guys? Today we had the Honkai Star Rail version 2.1 update trailer and anniversary live stream. The name of the update is going to be Into the Yawning Chasm, and we've got three new characters that were drip marketed not too long ago, but now we know their actual like official abilities have been put out there. Not stats, numbers, or talents or anything, but just their general abilities. We're not going to talk about any leaked content. We're just going to go straight into what the live stream has offered us, just to give you guys a rundown on what they do, in case you can't be bothered to look anywhere else for them. Here you go. Here's the video. Let's jump right in. So the first character we're going to talk about is the lovely lady herself that we're all going to be pulling for. And if you ain't pulling for her, you just have bad taste. It's not even an argument. Don't debate it. Don't even know. Mm -mm. A Kron, right? Lightning, Nihility. The way she works is you hit enemies with your skills and she builds stacks called Slashed Dream. Another way she can get these stacks is by anyone, anything on the field applying debuffs to enemies. So what this means, for example, the IPC soldiers, the ice guy, right? He gets a debuff if you don't let him allow to take the uh, buffs from his little soldiers. That debuff he grants to himself will give a Kron one of her slash dream stacks. Or Paler, for example, if you hit enemies with Paler's ult, there's a chance she'll give him more defense debuff. That defense debuff will also give a Kron one of her stacks. Once her stacks are full, she can use her ult, which grants her a four hit combo. During the first three hits, you can choose which enemies you want to hit with them, the single target. The fourth hit is the actual ult itself, and that hits everyone on the field. And then her technique is just dumb. Her technique is absolutely stupid. Her technique is an insta-kill if it hits someone. And if it misses, it doesn't use technique points. And you can use it like in tandem, like a combo. So if there's two enemies next to each other, you can press it twice if you have enough technique points. This ability right here is so OP. Fun little fact that there was internal um, beef. There's a little bit of beef in meetings. They had to... There's some pushback um, within the company, which is pretty cool. The combat developers had to sit there and be like, no, we want this. And they were like, yo, I don't know, it's kind of OP. And they were like, we want it in the game. That, that, that was a pretty cool uh, thing that they mentioned. I thought that was a pretty cool thing to add on. Next is the boy adventurine, the slyest, sexiest, badass mofo from Panacone out here. I don't know if you guys saw that trailer. He's basically Gilgamesh. <laughs> he was doing some Gate of Babylon shit in that trailer. Anyway. The way his skill works is he can apply stackable shields to his allies and he can get these charges called blind bet charges, right? Or stacks, I guess. And every time someone with one of his shields is attacked, he gains a charge of his blind bet every single time. When it's full, it triggers a follow-up attack and this attack adds more stackable shields onto your characters. So he's just constantly like, hey, we ain't getting hit, don't worry about it, right? Whereas for his ult, it's a single target and it gives a random amount of blind bet stacks to him when he uses it. It also applies a debuff that increases the crit damage of allies who attack the enemy with that debuff. So he'll sit there, hit the ult, and then let's say you attack it with, I don't know, Asta, <laughs> for example. She's now gonna get her crit damage increase when she attacks the enemy. I think it's after, uh, I believe. As for his technique, it's like a lottery defense buff, so it's gonna give you a random amount of defense buff when you use his technique. That's why I called it a lottery. Next, we have Gallagher, Fire Abundance, AKA the new One Punch Man. Sorry, Luca, he's, he's, he's coming for you. He's coming for your title. Um, the way he works is his skill targets allies and restores their HP, but then his ult, which looks sexy as hell, by the way, could put all enemies into a debuff state, which causes allies to heal when attacking them. This works perfectly in tandem with the debuff we just spoke about from Aventurian, which already is pretty cool. I like how normally when a lot of characters come out or new characters come out around the same time they try and make the four star work with one or two of the five stars i could already see how it could work with a k-ron in this instance with the way she from what they explained but we're not going to get all into that i just wanted to give you guys the rundown also the ult enhances his next basic attack which will then reduce the enemy's attack when it hits them and that's it for today guys thank you i just wanted to give you guys a quick lowdown on all three of the new characters coming in patch 2.1 I will catch you guys in the next video to talk about all the relevant updates and QR features that will be coming in the future.